is that tau halves. Now, how does that make sense? Now, here, really, I want you to recognize this, and this is what I'll start with because I got lots of other things to say later. <clears throat> Notice, when you switch to tau, you take away the integer multiples that you had in angles and trade them for fractional multiples in areas. So I'm telling you right now, a vote for tau is a vote for fractions. If you want more fractions in your mathematical diet, vote for tau. Okay, thank you, bye. And you'll get two minutes to answer. And if you if you refer to pi, I think he gets a two minute rebuttal. Okay. Is that the way that That's it is? Also coming up. So <laughs> I'll so, never refer to yeah. well, There are many people who will vote for you simply because they want to change. If if you're elected, what changes will you bring to mathematics? What changes I will I will actually be the one that re reduces fractions more because these people that talk about area and diameter, either you can have, you can't have it both ways. They're trying to have it both ways. You can increase your, de your fraction deficit or you can increase your area surplus, uh, your, your cost of area. So he's got, going to try and increase the cost of Look area. Look how many of those. Can, no, yeah, sorry. right. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you like diameter, you got pi d, but you got area is pi d squared. I want you to look at how many That's fractions are in his set with exactly. tau versus how many are in pi. Yeah, so you got the d squared over 4. The area is pi d squared over 4. If you like radius, then you've got to have those twos. And one half tau r squared is one half mv squared, one half kx squared. I agree with my esteemed opponent that if area was more fundamental than circumference, then pi would be the right choice. But it isn't. How much, how often, if we measured angles in terms of area in the circle, go for it. But until we do that, we, I, I, I still believe that, that that one half belongs there because we fundamentally use circumference and this is the area of a circle is one half times the radius times the circumference. And that's why you have the correct formula, one half pi r squared. Okay, anything else? And it's great in the classroom, I'll come back to that. But is that? Thank you. Yeah. Do I get a rebuttal? Thank you. I have a question for you along the same line. Okay. Okay. So, um, pi. There's many people who will vote for you simply because of tradition, right? So if elected, what more will you bring to mathematics than simply tradition? Well, I think what it is, it's not so much what more I will bring. I think it's maybe you just don't realize how much you use pi. Okay, now, again, it's a question of fundamentality. By the way, everything you're talking about has everything to do with the radius. Bob, let me ask you a question. Here, <coughs> take that. Without using a geometry formula or computing the diameter, Compute the radius of that ball for me. Okay. <laughs> the answer is you can't. Fundamentally, you have to compute the diameter first. The diameter is a more fundamental object, I claim, than the radius in many cases. It's the only one that generalizes to higher mathematics. If you have a set that's not necessarily a circle, the diameter is defined as the largest distance between two points in that set. There is no such generalization for a radius. You can even do this in metric spaces. So the diameter, <coughs> thank you, is more fundamental. And everything that Bob said can be rephrased in terms of the diameter, and it makes exactly as much sense as it did before. <coughs> now, let me take a look here. You talk pi about... Pi d squared over 4. Pi diameter Okay, let's, let's talk four. about that. Let's switch over the document camera here. I want you to take a look at this. This here, right here, is the circumference and area formulas in terms of pi or in terms of tau, in terms of radius or in terms of diameter. I want you to look at the integer multiple to fraction multiple ratio there. On his side, only two equations on the tau side have integer multiples in them. All the rest are fractions. On the pi side, five out of the eight formulas there have integer multiples. They're not fractions. The integer multiples is far more fundamental than that. And honestly, look at this. How beautiful is this? The ratio of the circumference to the diameter is pi. The ratio of the surface area of a sphere to the diameter squared is pi. That's crazy. You want to ruin that? <laughs> so what else are we going to bring to this? You know, you talk about angles. You talk about angles. You talk about angles here. Let's take a look at angles. Thank you. 
all polled to see who's ahead at this point. Okay? So votes for pi? Okay. Votes for tau? Tau day. Okay, this question is for both of you. We'll give you a few more minutes this time. Okay, so um, critics have claimed that this is an election without substance because both of the candidates are irrational. <laughs> <laughs> so in fact, many Americans will be voting for the constant that will simply help them get through their math with the least amount of effort. <laughs> what would you say to these people? Who gets to go first? Um, since I've got it up here, um, uh, tau has been used successfully in the classroom. Um, so I'm um, for Main Street versus Wall Street. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but tau has also been used successfully in financial mathematics. In San Di UC San Diego Calculus, there's an entire tau for trigonometry book. And what people say is learning Trigonometry still has its challenges using tau. It's not a panacea, but it's more like um, the comparison of using the metric system than versus using the English system pi. Um, so, and uh, converting between degrees and fractions of tau with radians was easier. Working with infinite solutions of trigonometric uh, equations very easily because tau is the period. Um, easier to identify the quadrant of the angle than with 3 pi over 2. Would you ever call 45 minutes, 3 quarters of a quarter of an hour? Special angles um, are and the pesky. So graphing trigonometric functions is nicer. So geometrically, um, as people said, a tutor who, you, who worked with my tau using students and another group of pi using students were to seem easier for the tau using students to believe the trigonometry concept and techniques. So, thank you. All right. Thank you. Again, the question is fundamentality. And to his, and to his remark about it's easier for trigonometry, let's take a look at a few trigonometric properties that have to do with pi and tau. So here's the trig functions and some of their important properties in terms of, let's see if I can zoom in here. I don't know how to do that, there we go. Let's take a look at this. This is some of the trig functions in terms of pi. Now I want you to notice how few fractions there are there, okay? Let's see what happens to all these important things, including the period, okay? Because it's great, yeah, sine and cosine get a better period, but all the other trig functions get worse. Take a look at what happens to the zeros of the domain when we switch to tau. How many of you would like? How many of you would like to learn that instead? How many of you, when you take trigonometry, would like to learn that the zeros of the sine function occur at half tau's instead of full pi's? How many of you would like to do that? Look how many. Look at the fraction to fraction to non-fraction ratio. Ten different entries with fractions, only eight without. You go back to pi. Do my pi sheet fall? Fractions have you go back to pi. You go back to, well, yeah, that's great, that's great. But we're talking about whether or not it's going to be understandable. What's easier to understand? How many of you think integers are easier to understand than fractions? Thank you. A vote for tau is a vote for fractions. You know what? Trigonometry is not the only place that you use pi. In Euclid's geometry, there are no angles bigger than pi. You know why? Because if you had an angle that was bigger than pi, you actually also have an angle that's less than pi. So what is more fundamental? To Euclid, this is the angle right here. You don't talk about bigger angles in geometry. So you use tau? You're going to talk about tau halves angles being the fundamental angle in Euclidean geometry? So you've got all these different places where you have great things. Let's take a look at another place where, where you might see this in trigonometry. Take a look at that. What's the angle sum of the angles in a triangle? It's pi, not tau halves. <laughs> what's, what's the it's sum of the exterior what's the sum? angles of Take a look triangle, at this. a square? Who in the world talks about exterior angles? Take a look at this right here. Hey, if you add up the angles. Excuse me. Excuse me here. Excuse me here. Here's a look at the sum of the angles in an end on. What do you get? K minus 2 pi. The towers would say, oh look, there's a pi. I don't know tau. Oh my gosh, it's tau. What about this guy? That poor guy, he's not an integer multiple anymore. So I'm telling you, you want to talk about what makes mathematics simpler? Pi makes it way simpler. You go anywhere outside of the tiny little amount of mathematics.
attacks that he talks about in pi is more fundamental than every other instance. The sum of the exterior <laughs> angles of the square, a triangle, they're all tau. It makes it easy to figure out those silly interior angles just because you subtract them from tau. That sounds complicated to me. <laughs> How do you figure that out? Okay, next. Uh, we, we, we have, have another have, question? We have a question from the audience. So, Martin? This question is directed to Pi. <laughs> much of your rhetoric, uh, much of your rhetoric appears to be discriminatory against fractional Americans. Uh, how do you respond to that? <laughs> It's tau that knocked the leg off of pi. <laughs> so so oh, tau, yeah. tau is the one that knocked the So pi is limits. <laughs> All right. Oh, Next question. question. <laughs> I think we have a question. Victor, don't you have a question for tau? If you have questions, send them down. OK, it's great. I like that one. Here's some tau. But why tau feels so important when it's thanks to pi that tau even have a right now, tau have right now a shot to say that it has a value or importance? That's um, hmm, causality violating. Euler just determined the circle constant was 6.28 in 1727 before he determined it to be 3.14. And then he even went back to tau. So, it's the preferred, it's not so much the symbol, it's the number. It's 6.28 is the, put six equal chiral triangles in a circle, or go back to the naturalness. So uh, I, I'll, I'll say pi has a place, but it has a place elsewhere. It's pi is nucleotide diversity. Pi is the homotopy group, pi one. Pi is the prime counting function, and even the formulas for prime counting functions involve Tau. Right? So pi just is, is, is tired and overused. It doesn't have stamina. Tau, no, it's, it's spread too thin. Look at all these Which pies. candidate so Look far has had more stamina than you? Look at these pies. Look at these pies. There are too many pies. Give pi a break. Give pi a break. Uh, OK, awesome. Let's give him a hand. I'm going to go first this time, I guess? OK. <clears throat> well, Pi has already had a great place in education. It has enlivened the minds of students the world over. When I tell you that people have been computing the digits of Pi for hundreds of years, it is exciting. When I tell you that something like Pi has been counted to like 13 trillion digits, and we're still not even close to being done, this livens the minds of students and helps them understand that it's, that it's really neat to talk about these mathematical concepts. Pi already has been in a lot of places that have made things a lot easier to understand, contrary to what my opponent may think. <clears throat> let, me tell, let me show you a few other places that, we might, that you might see Pi crop up. For example, <clears throat> you get things like these wonderful, beautiful little integrals right here. <clears throat> that look so nice when you come up with Pi, when you use Pi. All these fundamental integrals. You've got the integral of the derivative of the arc tangent. The integral sine x over x sine squared x over x squared also has that. You have all these different great things that makes pi beautiful and natural and fundamental. And like I said, it's all about fundamentality. You want to liven the minds of students, get them excited about mathematics, you show them why something's fundamental. This is fundamental. Tau's not. <laughs> constant for angular frequency for quantum mechanics is tau. The 
period, the relationship between the period of an oscillation and its frequency is tau, 6.28. Um, in all the integrals for Fourier analysis, for the Cauchy integral theorem, for the Gaussian, they all are much nicer with tau. So those are fundamental. Sterling's formula. The P he even admitted the periods of sine and cosine, the fundamental. But what about the period of tangent and cotangent? Who cares? We're going to hear first, folks. <laughs> it just makes more sense. It's simpler and more fundamental. So John Horton Conway, several mathematicians have endorsed tau, as I showed last time. So we have the support of of like one or two mathematicians. <laughs> there are hundreds of years of support for pi before they realized how it had precedence and priority. Do I get to respond to that? Thank you. Okay, let's take a look at some of these formulas here because a lot of this is a lie. Okay, a lot of this, the fact that the fact that tau thinks that it's fundamental is not. Let's take a look here. He's got e to the i tau equals one. This is Euler's const Euler's formula, right? Yeah, hey, it looks really pretty. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Euler never wrote it. This is Euler's formula. Let's take a look at this a little bit more carefully. Okay, let's take a look at this. <laughs> so far, he points this out. He thinks it's great because it looks good, right? E equals one. Okay, well let's ask yourself a question here. E to the I, this comes from Euler's formula, e to the i theta. The smallest positive value for theta that where that formula, where e to the i theta equals a real number, is pi. That's fundamental. The negative second place, the second negative. place, going negative. excuse me, <laughs> the second place it hits a real number is tau. Who in the world would think that the second time something happens is the fundamental time it happens? I'm sorry, that's not fun to do. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at another one here. Okay, what's, more, what's more fundamental, negative one or one? Let's take a look one. here. Pi is number one. Let's take a look here. Here you have the gas. <laughs> See if I can zoom out a little bit. Here's the normal distribution right there that everybody loves and sees and is using statistics all over the place. The Taoists would claim, oh look, there's a two pi. That's a tau. It there's should a be fraction. a tau. There's a but fraction. oh my gosh. There's a fraction. There's but a fraction. oh my gosh. This is two. Like this is two. Fraction. In the exponent. Excuse me, I'm talking here. <laughs> this two here is there because of that. And it doesn't need to be. This all comes from the fact right here of the Gaussian integration formulas. The fundamental equation, the one that actually has the form, is e to the negative x squared. That's the one that has all the qualitative behavior. If you need to integrate that, you get the square root of pi. You have to put in this crazy little fraction to get a tau. If you so I'm saying get rid of the fraction, if you take keep the it that way, and you normalize it to this. And you use that right there. You get all the same exact properties. You can even write down the, the bell curve that way right there, that bottom equation right there. And you can see, this is fundamental. It has all the exact same properties of the, of the regular normal distribution that the one we used to, but for some reason it didn't have that two in there. That's because the two has nothing to do with the qualitative behavior of that graph. Yes, it the does. pi has everything to do with the qualitative behavior of that graph. It's, it's it is about fundamentality. It's its own Fourier <laughs> there. It's about fundamentality. The fundamental solution of the heat equation. The only reason why tau is important, let me say one last thing, the only reason why tau is important is because it's a multiple of pi. Thank you, pi. The only reason pi is important is because it's a fraction of tau. Nope. Wrong. 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 We don't get closing statements. You do so well here. Okay. Okay. We're just going to take a break so that your voice can heal. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and get back to it. All right. We have t-shirts. Can you see these? Yes. Maybe if I turn on the light. So we have t-shirts for each of the candidates. And uh, the brilliant logo was designed by Victor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Okay. And this one says, Tau, twice the circle constant pi will ever be. Uh, or the uh, sponsored by the Radius Number Committee of Utah Valley University. 
And this one says pi because you can't even tell. This is sponsored by the Diaster Network Committee. And you can, if you're in the math club, you can come to the math department anytime between tomorrow and November 1st. And um, you can pick up a t-shirt for your favorite candidate. And the winner will be the candidate that gives away the most t-shirts. Okay? So, but you have to be in the math club to do this. So if you're not, you need to send me an email get your name on the list. Okay? And thank you, Addison, for our posters on campus for publicizing. Okay, we'll announce the winner in November after the general election results are in. We'll have <laughs> for our for our election in. Okay, so do, does anyone else in the audience have questions for our distinguished candidates? Can we turn around now? You can turn around. Okay. <laughs> we have any other That's questions? a half turn. I just okay. <laughs> Tau gets you nowhere. <laughs> I have a question for you. Uh, okay. We have a question. Uh, has a question. Okay, thank you. This question is for the both of you. I would like, can each of you give me one good thing out of Bibles? <laughs> <laughs> I will admit that town does make radius easier to use. But it makes a lot of stuff. I will admit that town uh, that pi makes the area of the unit circle an integer multiple. Awesome. Are there other questions from the <laughs> Okay, if, that, if that's the case, I have one last question for each of the candidates, and um, we'll take turns. So, um, what is your best non-circular reason that a person should vote for pi or tau? I would for mine. Non-circular, non-circular. If that means not related to the circle, <laughs> that's not not circular reason. <laughs> then, um, then spherical reasons. <laughs> that's cheating. But the formulas for the uh, um, area and volume of the n spheres also have a nicer form in terms of tau. The recursions are simpler. So in all spheres, not just the one sphere, S1, the circle, um, tau is the more inclusive constant. <laughs> that, was a bit of, that was a bit of a dodge, and the reason why is because there aren't any non-circular reasons to use tau. But pi is in, all, in the place all over the place. I've already talked about fundamentality in terms of angles with Gaussian geometry. I've already talked about <coughs> fundamental things with angles in a triangle. Okay, the sum of the angles is pi. Okay, if you have a, if you have a negatively curved surface, the sum of the angles of a triangle is less than pi. If you have a positively curved surface, the sum of the angles of a triangle is greater than pi. That's pi is the one, pi is the one that seems to be pervasive everywhere in mathematics. It is fundamental in all sorts of fields. The only reason why you see tau in other fields is because pi is already there. It's only there because you see two pi's. There are plenty of formulas that have three pi's in them. Plenty of formulas that have eight pi's in them. Plenty of formulas that have pi in them. Plenty of formulas that have five pi's in them. Okay? You do, you do these with tau, more of them have fractions in them than those that don't. That tells you right there that pi is more fundamental than tau. He's staying with interior angles again. He's building a wall. I'm creating inclusive shape to include people. He is trying to push people to the outside. So, <clears throat> pi is fundamental, and it's a question of fundamentality. Pi is fundamental in a multitude of places, not just in circles. 
To replace pi for a, handle of, for a handful of simple aesthetic improvements is not only unnecessary, but it's detrimental to the beauty and the harmony that already exists. To quote Vi Hart in her ironically pi is wrong video, mathematics should be as elegant and beautiful as possible. When looking at the big picture, all of mathematics, Tai Tao definitely does not optimize either of those. To quote Bob Play in a conversation we had, he told me, I'm wrong about a lot of things. And so it is. <laughs> And he even admitted right there aesthetic reasons and simplicity. And my, my closing statement, if you think this is a half, vote for pi. If you think this is a quarter, vote for tau. I said, mathematicians, on one interview, I said, mathematicians have, made, have uh, managed to make, uh, convince the world that a quarter is a half, and also that it's the most beautiful idea in, in human history. A quarter is a half. I don't, I don't know about that, but we'll see what you think. Yeah. <laughs>